Hey, I'm Julian and I'm in Berry, South Australia, which is the spiritual home of Goon. That's because they invented it here and it's also one of the country's largest producing regions. As you can see, I'm in a goon factory. We're gonna go and meet a goon maker. We're gonna learn about the production and the kind of thinking process that goes into your secret favorite drink. Don't need a corkscrew. You don't need to hurt yourself opening it. Most people can open up a cask and pour themselves a drink. Do your friends ever give you any shit for, for making goon? Yeah, I've got one mate that always says, you know, you make goon and you make bulk wine. But they were the, they're the guys that used to do shotties of spirit before they went to the big day out, so. <laughs> hey Paul, can you uh, tell me about the history of Goon? Thomas Angove in like 1925 designed this cask and from what I understand it even came with this little peg that was helped to shut off and ensure you didn't get oxidation. And so we've just taken their foresight and their commitment to producing a cask and we've run with it. Is there a difference between a bottle grape and a Goon grape? Uh, there's no real decision whether it's going to go to cask or bottle. Uh, the wine will be going to both. So, yeah, what do we got? Well, this being your passion, Julian, I think you should start with the light fruity Lexia. Yeah, i got to tell you, I, I hate it. Am I wrong? Is this good on some level? No, no, you're not wrong. That's your palate and that's how you've evolved. But some people want a soft, sweet, simple drink. I'm getting pineapples, fermented grapes, Like a, like a fridge in a share house. <laughs> okay, well you might be the next winemaker at Berry Estates, I think, for vintage. <laughs> Cheers. This would be a great food wine with a nice creamy pasta. It is kind of creamy. Sadly, we'll have to tip that out. Hold on. Exactly, I would. So this is, the, this is the warehouse packing end of the facility. In this facility alone, we produce you know, almost 70 million litres of, of cask product per year. Nearly 50% of the cask produced in Australia are produced in this facility alone. 50%. So half of every time that I'm at a music festival and I take a, a box of wine, it came from here. There's a 50% chance that it has, absolutely. We'll have to drive up and then we'll, we'll show the cast filling process. Uh, so what's going on here? Yep, so here we're, we're filling a two litre format for, for a Banrock Banro station product. The, the cap is taken off, pre back, filled, post back, caps back on, all happens in a matter of seconds. How do you feel when you look at this? I love a, I love a good bag and box. Really, really passionate about my cast wine. Uh, I think it does get a bad rap. When you hear me describe cask as goon, how does that make you feel? It makes me cringe a little bit, and I just I would love to be able to spend some time with you guys to try and change that perception, and hopefully we're doing that today. Yeah, what are we, what are we looking at here? So we're looking at here, this is the conveying process from our fillers through to our carton erector. Where's it going? Uh, this, this one's going to, uh, this one's actually going to the Middle East. The Middle East? So the we, Middle East gets into free Lexia. Absolutely, absolutely, and, and, it's, and it's not a bad drop. So this is just it. This is this is ground zero for where all of my my party memories were made. This is the home. I've traced it back to the home. This is where parties come from. I love the way it wobbles when it stops simultaneously. All seventy-eight thousand bags are like. Put a hard hat on and we'll go out and have a look for the tank bar. This is a terrible fit. Absolutely. What's uh, these, it looks like piles of mulch in the background. The grape seed, so. That's just all grape seed? Yeah. That's so many grape seeds. There's piles of grape seeds over there that are larger than trucks. What are, what are we going to taste? Uh, we're going to taste some Shiraz and some Cabernet. Some Cabernet, beautiful. It's like having one big keg, mate. So 24,000 litres, roughly in this tank, um, of, of ready to package product. Mm. This one's silky smooth. This is like getting into, into a warm bath. That's great. It's nice, I really like that. Mm. Yeah. 
90% of the, of the wineries in Australia, what they do in a year, we'll actually do in a day. And that's 90% of the wineries in Australia are doing that? Yeah. So you're kicking their ass? On a scale size, absolutely. So we're, 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 we're the biggest winery in the Southern Hemisphere. This, uh, this makes me feel honoured to be here. <laughs> As you should be.